Gloucestershire Archives, we safeguard millions of unique and authentic documents. This map shows the boundaries of a local common. As a working document, it's been used and abused for years, but it can still be taken to court to prove your right to walk on the land and prevent others from claiming ownership. Rachel and I are accredited conservators here at Gloucestershire Archives. Conservation involves the stabilisation of vulnerable materials and structures, preserving them in the most appropriate way with the least means possible. We assess the condition of items and the risk of further decay, think about how they will be used in the future and consider treatment options and risks. A conservator learns about the materials, how things were made, their properties, their histories and how to stabilise them. It's a mix of history, art and science. We have several million items in millions of folders, in thousands of boxes, in 14 strong rooms, on miles of shelves. So why are archives so important? Why do we need to look after them so carefully? They were created at the time, capturing contemporary information and preserving it in a lasting form. Archives are a silent witness to our human journey, important accounts of life, of endeavour and of death. They also uphold our rights. So this, what I've got here, is an admission register from Hatherley Road Girls Secondary School in Gloucester. That book was able to help a woman when she was threatened with deportation during the Windrush scam. That was the evidence that we could provide, that she had A, arrived in this country before the cut-off date for settled status being given, or the right to remain, and B, that she'd received schooling here and therefore was entitled to stay. Recently, hospital records were examined for a public inquiry into infected blood. Our archives can transform our future when we look into the past and discover what happened. Remember our map showing the common? The records of all the public bodies in the county are kept here. It's known as the place of deposit for their archives. It means the people who make decisions for us the locally elected councillors and public authorities can be held to account. We can see the actual record of what they've done. In fact, all these archives in this room, mainly the minutes, can be used to prove something is or it isn't. And that's why they're so vital. We keep these records from way back. We also hold other Gloucestershire and South Gloucestershire collections relating to lives lived in this historic county, industries, familiar places, pastimes and memorable events. They're a direct and tangible connection to the past, something you can hold in your hand and see with your own eyes. This is Gloucester Castle accounts roll from the 13th century. The castle isn't there anymore, but this document brings it to life in an extraordinary way. It tells of knights and stonemasons and catapults and arrowheads, everything from nails to clothing. You will often find evidence of the slave trade in archives, and Gloucestershire is no exception. This incredibly poignant valuation is from 1814, linked to an estate in Antigua. Archives transport us back in time, allowing us to rediscover the past. Gloucestershire's archives date from around the 12th century right up to the present and come in many different forms. There are archives like ours for every county in the UK, where people are working to safeguard documents so that our rights can be protected and our past rediscovered. You can see things here at Gloucestershire Archives and more and more over the web too. We also keep information about each document, so you can be sure that they are genuine, know where they've come from and that they're the real thing. As accredited conservators, our work is now regulated 
so that archives can be protected from restoration that's inappropriate and damaging. We're assessed by the Institute of Conservation to make sure we are qualified and experienced and that we are independently responsible and making sound decisions. This insignificant looking scrap of paper records an African work song from the sugar fields of Barbados. It's recognised by UNESCO as a significant document for the memory of the world. We might think about interventive treatment to repair this damage after careful consideration of the risks and the benefits, but it can be slow and very expensive. We might need extra funds to tackle that one. It's not always necessary or desirable to make things neat and tidy or to look like new again, which is why it's best to find an accredited conservator. Books, for instance, don't need to look pristine to be well cared for. They may be broken or tatty, but they still retain that link with those who made them and have held them since. That intangible property, the look and feel of past times, so easily lost. A good protective box, a note about the damage, and a request to handle carefully may be all that is required. Different options are considered, including those that don't alter the object. We protect our collections from the 10 Agents of Deterioration, helpfully defined by the Canadian Conservation Institute. Physical forces, fire, pests, light, ultraviolet and infrared, incorrect relative humidity, thieves and vandals, water, pollutants, incorrect temperature, dissociation. We think of six layers of protection the region, the site, the building, the storage room, box and the protective enclosure. When the risk of further deterioration is high or an item can't be displayed safely or seen or imaged clearly, we may carry out specialist interventive conservation work. To ensure the best use of resources and the best care for our collections, we also work with other specialists in things like digitising documents and managing the environment. And with the wider archives team to agree priorities. Once it's been requested, I think we might have a, a bit of a, a case. Now that one of the volunteers has catalogued it and put it up, with the names and the dates and so okay, forth, yes. it might well receive a little bit more interest yes. from people. We keep a record of our decisions, conservation options considered, and details of any interventive treatments. We provide written reports, including condition assessments. We need to keep our knowledge and practice up to date. We help others to learn about conservation too. Here's Rachel waiting for the students at Hogwarts. It's Gloucester Cathedral, really. We introduce people to the ten agents of deterioration and the six layers of protection through training days. And this layer here, the protective enclosure, is the first layer of protection around your item. And resources on our website. So, in working with an accredited conservator, you will benefit from the Institute of Conservation's 20 years experience in regulating the profession and providing protection for valuable historical collections. Work with us to safeguard the records for your community.